Right. I don't know what the hell just happened, but Facebook decided it's just like, nope, your Wi-Fi is not strong enough. So here we are again. We're continuing right where we left off, and we're going to go so that we can share that video again because here we go. <laughs> Work. And share. Work. It's one of those things where you just, you don't know what's going to happen. It's Facebook Live, and... We're just, we're just gonna But look, we're at 25 it. viewers already. Hello! Nailing it, nailing Hi, it. Hi, 25 new viewers. If you haven't, if you're just tuning in, I'm Bella Noche, a.k.a. Isaiah Cruz, a ride for Spilled and I see This is my very good friend, Brevi Leslie Sills. Hello! We are this week's Cocktails and Contours guests. We were just in the middle of a beautiful makeup tutorial feed. Facebook decided they just were done with us, but we're not done with them, so we are back, and we're gonna finish this mug like I finished yours before, and we're gonna get back into it. Fuck yeah, mother. So let's do it. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna overdraw your lips. Okay, just go like give me like a little. Okay, let me think of a question for you to answer while you're doing yes. that. Yes. Um, also, leave your lips neutral. Neutral. Oh, there's like no. Don't no go. Out. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you were to have a drag house, what would it be named? Oh, girl. Um. That's a really great question. What would my house be named? And if you were to have like one or two drag daughters, what would their names be? So house and then daughters. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the house. Okay, if we're gonna go like full fantasy. Yeah. The full house. This is all full fantasy, girl. The house would be House of High Notes. Cute. Okay. Cute. Because we it would be it would be like a full on opera drag house, and so in keeping with the opera theme, one of my favorite operas is Fanchula del West, which is the Golden Girl of the West. And so her name would be Fanny, Ch Fanny Chula Del West. Like, That's terrible. And then the other one would be L'Italiana and her Scanties instead of Italiana in Algeria, which is another opera. Um, and then the last one would be Lucia di Slam Her More. I know that reference! Yes, I got that yes, one! Yes, yes. So those would be my drag daughters in the House of High Notes, and we would just go around and do guerrilla opera in the subways and at bars. Amazing. I love it. Gonna be so pouty. You're gonna look so sick. I'm so excited to have you in these big lips. Cause, you know, I mean, I've got big honking lips. Well, so do I. As a boy, and I overdraw them anyway. And you, I do too. Are gonna look so gorgeous. I can't wait. With this pout. Also, it's way easier to draw lips when they're not mine. The eyes were hard. The lips are much simpler. Yeah, completely agree. Yes. Do you want to have a ask something? No. No. Right. right. You're living. You're living. I'm living. Um, what about? Oh, I want to know about you. What would you call your drag house if you had a drag house? Um. If you can chat, it's okay. No, I'm thinking. Um. I think it'd be the house of sirens. Oh, word! Yeah, and it would just be like fantasy girls, colored hair, rhinestones, mermaid, unicorn, elf, fantasy. It would just be a cosplay, like all that kind of stuff, like high fantasy drag. I love it so much. Yeah. I love, I, when I was um, more focused on visual art, I was part of this visual art community online called Elfwood. That's awesome. It sounds like World of Warcraft. And it was, it was like sort of a similar vibe. Like it was all people who really wanted to do like beautiful fantasy art. So it was all like mythical creatures and like it. mermaids and elfin women. It's all up my alley. Fairies. I loved it so much. I'm such a little faggot. Girl, I was right there with you. <laughs> I'm a faggot for some fantasy. Ooh, Britt and I were talking about this, about how a pencil will sometimes betray you. But it's okay. Now you're ready for Avant Garbage? I'm ready this for Avant Garbage. Avant Garbage in Abracadabra NYC. What's she saying? Or when... House of Sirens. Sirens when nobody, nobody sings. sings. Or when they sing, they want to kill yourself. Yeah, that's what they do. We're manslayers. That's I love it! <laughs> Own it! This is one of my favorite nudes. And it's actually going to look really good on your skin because it's a little bit pinky. Uh -huh. um, so it won't look... Like, I tried a few nudes before who that looked like my lip color and it was like the wrong choice. When you do a nude, you want it to be a color still, not your lip color. Gotcha, gotcha. So I, I use this, and I use the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin, which this is more pinky, and the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin is more brown. Okay. I also have a lip color that's, I don't know what brand it is, but it's like a lipstick, not a matte lipstick, or not a matte liquid lip, right. called 
ginger spice, which I use sometimes. Uh, ginger spice, that's funny. Yeah. And it's, it's like a glittery brown that I love. Will you do this now? I'm gonna get the bottom of your lip right here. Work, and now smack your lips together. Beautiful. You know what you need, one last thing, is blush. And then I think we'll be done. We're, we're in the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. And we started at eight o'clock, look at this. Yeah, we're, we're like doing real good time. I'm a fast painter. Um, if anyone has any last second questions for Beverly or I, now it's time to ask them. I'm gonna give you some wet and wild. Wait, where's that? God damn it, I'm such a fucking mess. I have a favorite wet and wild palette that I use for blush all the time. That's like, orange and red and that like really beautiful uh, yeah it makes your skin like very peachy and very like natural and yeah but it looks it. like it's you can, gone you can use my workout there's a there's a really light orange in there too okay. where my more more power oh perfect there's a light orange in there we're gonna use go to that one yeah we're gonna use a little bit of this and a little bit of that mixing colors on that brush So, as we're finishing up, one of the final questions, what would you, what do you, either, what is like the mantra of Beverly Leslie Sills, or what would you want to leave behind as a legacy for future generations of drag queens? Two answers. Yeah. So, both. the both. mantra of Beverly Leslie Sills is certainly live your best life. Like, I, I think I touched on that on the earlier broadcast, right? Mm -hmm. That, like... I think that everyone, oh fuck, what happened to your nose? There's like a little thing there, I need to fix it later. Um, I think that everyone should find out what their own authentic best life is and live that. You don't necessarily need to follow the example of other people, you just need to find what works for you and live your best life. And what I want to leave behind as a legacy, as a drag queen for other queens would be, um, being able to embrace all of the aspects of yourself. Um, it's really easy, I mean like even I'm talking about a little bit like trying to find my brand and find something more specific but I think you need to find something that balances all the aspects of yourself instead of just like pigeonholing yourself into one Absolutely. tiny Absolutely. thing. Yeah, that's what I would, that's what I would do. Shumatra. I love it, I love it. Yeah girl. Hashtag living your best life. Hashtag living your best life. Brought to you by Beverly Leslie Sills of Astoria, Queens. Which is funny because that's literally where I grew up. Really? Yeah, I grew up in Astoria, Queens. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, that's, why, that's why Albatross is so special to me. That time that you had me perform there was great. It's, well, we'll have you back, again. girl. We'll have you back. It's a small world after all. It is a small world. Are we good? Yeah, you know what? I think, I think you need a red lip. Then do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I was like, no, we're going nude. Last, last minute changes. But like, I think you need a red lip, which I can put over top of this nude. But if you want to show the camera, get up close, show them that red, that nude. It's a beautiful color. She, she looks, she looks starlet, ladies and gentlemen. Starlet. I love it. I feel like Raven. Oh, work. <laughs> work. I'm down with that. Okay. You can do this now. Yeah. I'm going to give you a nice dark, this Ivy Feria, which is another Abracadabra lipstick. It's like a nice dark red, which is very very vintage that beautiful deep almost burgundy red we didn't get like bright reds until the 80s when things were more colorful well mm -hmm. actually that's not true the 60s got more colorful but they were mostly corals yeah um smack them together a little bit if you want Does it work Finishing this lip, y'all. This lip shape. She's gonna look so cute. Also, this is like super my aesthetic. This like dark red. So I we're, love gonna, it. we're gonna paint you a like la you. Beverly Lovely Sills. We should just fucking give you this dark red, which I wear all the time. Oh, is this the right one? Uh, yeah, this is my favorite red. So it's it's either this or it's Ari Kiki, which is like a metallic red that I wear from Abracadabra. Oh, Shout out to Ari, Ari Kiki. Kiki. I love her. Okay, I think you're... Oh, I'm gonna clean up this side real quick. We... Yeah. Oh, God. Your lips just got bigger. But that's okay. 
That's part of the joy of drag. And now, uh, I'll do this again. We're gonna clean up your lips on the edges uh -huh. with foundation. Where is your foundation? Here, right? Yep. Cause Beverly got a little messy on the corners. <laughs> and it's okay. That's living your best life includes making mistakes and just fixing them. It's true. Don't dwell on them. It's true. Don't be upset. Just fucking And the best thing that comes sometimes the best thing comes out of making mistakes. So you're, just, you're just like, ooh, I didn't mean to do that, but we're going to work with it, and it works. I'm trying really hard not to talk. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Um, so listen, you can find, can I just plug my social media? Yeah, go ahead. You can find me on Instagram at Beverly Leslie Sills, on Facebook at Beverly Leslie Sills, and on Twitter, not that I'm, I'm not very active on Twitter necessarily, but you can find me on Twitter at the Queen Beverly. Oh, Jesus Christ. This journey, your lips, the journey of your lips, my friend, I'm struggling. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. That's mine. This giant fucking powder puff. You're committed. Work. What if I was just like, this is it. This is the Bam! finished look. <laughs> this is the finished look. I'm not taking the powder off. And now one more time with a lipstick to cover the spots that I ruined. <laughs> ruined. Sometimes if you want to concentrate, breathe in and then as you're doing something, breathe out. Breathe out. Ooh, that was so beautiful. Okay, amazing. I think we're done. This is the look, ladies and gentlemen. I have giant ass lips. She looks like a sexy mermaid librarian. Hello. This has been Cocktails and Contours with Isaiah Cruz, aka Bella Noche, and my very special guest, Barely Seals, as we finish the last of our cocktails. My down second. The hatch, down the hatch. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, actually, I will be writing a story about Beverly Leslie Sills, soon to be um, published on Spoiled NYC. She said where you can find her. You can find me at Bella Noche NYC on Facebook and Instagram, Word. as well as Twitter. So please give us a follow, give us a like. We've had so much fun with you guys today. I will be back in two weeks with another very special guest, and we will see you then. Mwah. Have a great night, Bye. you guys. Bye. Mwah. Good night, new Spoiled New York City. Mwah.